Matt Goulding and I started Roads and Kingdoms because we don't think travel is about finding yourself. It's about getting past yourself into something bigger. We are in awe of Tohoku, the breadth and the depth of the spirit it has. It's just a couple hours north of Tokyo, but we found a very different Japan here. This is Basho, yeah, the like, hero poet, yeah. the traveler. He wrote, such stillness, the cry of the cicada seeping into the rocks. My favorite interpretation of that is even the most ever-present sound of summer in Japan, the ceaseless screeching of the insects, and it's just kind of eaten yeah. by the mountain. I mean, not only is he like the hero poet of Japan, but it's very clear when you travel around to Hoku, this guy was like a world-class traveler. Like how it seems I can't go to like any bar or soba joint anywhere on earth without seeing a picture of Bourdain on the wall with the chef somewhere. Yep. That, that was Basho. His travelogue was called The Narrow Road into the Deep North. Sake is a favorite offering to the gods, and not far from these temples of Yamadera, you can find some of the best sake in Japan, born of cold winters, clear water, and singular focus. Yamagata is really suitable for sake making because Yamagata is a very cold area. Sake is made from rice and water. Yamagata has very good, beautiful water. We want to keep the traditional skills. Koji is a very important for sake making. Nowadays, machine can make koji, but we make koji by hand. A trio of holy peaks in Yamagata, the Dewa Sansan, are host to the Yamabushi mountain mystics who draped us in white funeral shrouds and led us on a trek through death and rebirth. ね、